Making a difference in Wisconsin. This is the Channel 12 News. The virtues of bread. A Wisconsin baker says it's food for the brain. We'll let you decide. An elderly couple missing, perhaps driving around in their car. Their family is worried they're in danger. A dangerous, perhaps vicious dog. Tonight, a Milwaukee family tells how it changed their lives forever. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. One Milwaukee family is still recovering from a brutal dog attack. You may have seen tonight's primetime live report on children at risk in this kind of situation. Well, we have team reports now for you on dangerous dogs, including one story from two families. We'll look at both sides of that issue. Oh, these are bites. Eight-year-old Sarah Malone is home from the hospital in pain, but thankfully in one piece. After two and a half hours of surgery and 150 stitches, she remembers the dog attack vividly. What were you thinking? That he was just going to keep on biting me and biting me and never let go. A neighbor was finally able to pull the dog off Sarah and call an ambulance. Her horrified parents met her at the hospital. Um, it shouldn't have to happen to an eight-year-old, let alone anybody. Now that Sarah's fast on the road to recovery, her parents have a new concern. The dog that attacked their daughter is still at home in their neighborhood. That's like taking somebody, like somebody shooting somebody with their gun, and the police saying, well, hey, you, you really hurt this guy, but here's your gun back. He ain't no vicious dog. He was vicious. He had been until y'all left right about now. Seven-month-old Kane is the Garner's family Rottweiler puppy. They say Kane attacked Sarah because she provoked him. Now the city's issued them a vicious dog order. They're appealing it, but if it stands, they'll have to obey its many requirements, including buying $100,000 in liability insurance and strict limits on when and where Kane can go. If the Garners don't want to comply, they must kill their dog. He ain't gonna be put to sleep because I ain't gonna love. But Lori Malone wants that dog out of her neighborhood and plans to make that clear when the city reviews the Garner's appeal next week. I'm not gonna sit by and watch it happen to somebody else's kid. It, I mean, it shouldn't have had to happen in the first place. Lori says she'll make her case by bringing Sarah to the hearing to show them just how vicious Kane can be. Colleen Henry, Channel 12 News, Milwaukee. City of Milwaukee says it will hold its vicious dog hearing sometime in the next 10 days. While we're on the subject of dog attacks, even highly trained police dogs require respect. At our sister station in Shreveport, Louisiana, a reporter was interviewing a canine officer about plans to take their new $8,000 dog on school visits. When the reporter leaned toward the officer, the dog did what he's trained to do. The reporter got five stitches. Police say the dog was made nervous by the interview situation and probably felt that his handler was being threatened. The Humane Society sees hundreds of cases every year and a new dog report about dog attacks is out just today. Julie Pesch continues our team reports and tells us any dog can turn. He's considered man's best friend, or is he? Come on. Dr. Charles Castellin is with the Wisconsin Humane Society and today released a major study on dog attacks in Milwaukee County. Here's what he found. 45% of all school-aged children have been bitten, and 30% were bitten by their own dogs. Also, little boys get bitten more often than anyone else. Really, the reported bite cases are just the tip of the iceberg. Dr. Castellin says each year the Humane Society takes in more than 500 dogs that have bitten someone. But there are a lot more attacks that never get reported, and that's a big problem. A problem Gail Becker worried about when she adopted Shep from the Humane Society. The society watches for biters and would never give them away. But Gail says her dog is still a lot to handle. He's too strong for me. <laughs> I want to walk him and he pulls me around. So she's taking him to a discipline class. Dr. Castellin says that's the best thing an owner can do. He says dogs are great pets and many times vicious dog attacks can be prevented if the owner takes the time to train them. Julie Pash, Channel 12 News, Milwaukee. And this footnote, please, if you are attacked by a dog, you should report it to the Humane Society or to the police. An elderly Elton Grove couple has been found tonight. They've been missing. We just learned this a moment ago. 90-year-old William Rinders and his wife, 88-year-old Henrietta Rinders, were last seen yesterday 
Uh, and then they thought they'd been seen in Fort Washington. Well, now, tonight, a sheriff's deputy found them at Sussex Hamilton High School. This happened actually after we went on the air and we were just told. So we're happy to report to you that after a really scary period, they have been located and they are okay. The Easter holiday is celebrated worldwide, and worldwide, much of the celebration has turned commercial. Tonight, Merv Seymour looks into the business and message of Easter. The sweet taste of Easter is out, and if the price is right, you can buy into the spirit with candies, clothes, or maybe even the Easter bunny himself. Retailers say the bunny makes for a busy time of year. Christmas is the most hectic, hectic of all, besides Valentine's Day, but... Um, Easter gets pretty hectic, especially this week right before. <laughs> Kathy Skimp and her girls are in the Easter spirit in more ways than one. It's a nice time of the year, time to be with family and friends and get dressed up and celebrate the season. Behind the taste of sweet chocolate, the smell of fresh clothes and the ringing of dollar signs, there is some religious meaning behind this holiday they call Easter. The story we tell is of Jesus Christ, once called King of the Jews. Folks at Garfield Baptist Church are remembering the religious meaning of Easter by reliving the events leading up to Easter Sunday. Jesus conquered the grave and now lives again. And because of that, we have faith to believe that he truly will redeem us. While the message of Easter has gone commercial, those reliving the Christian holiday say maybe it's all for the better. You know, obviously our nation is extremely commercialized and so many times it's easy to lose focus on the true meaning. Yet at the same time, I find it's a great opportunity for us to share the true meaning of Easter. So while the bunny is bringing in big bucks, it's also bringing more attention to the worldwide holiday called Easter. Murph Seymour, Channel 12 News, Wauwatosa. And of course you know that many churches have services for Good Friday tomorrow. One service for all denominations is scheduled for tomorrow at noon at the downtown Hyatt in Milwaukee. President Clinton was in California today to sign into law a bill he says will prove to the world that America is committed to quality education. It's also a vacation trip, so he hit the beach for a morning jog with the First Lady pedaling alongside. Next on the presidential agenda, health care in the heartland, a town hall meeting in Minneapolis, but we'll take part by satellite. We will have an audience taking part of that here in Milwaukee. Now, this is next Friday night at 7. If you'd like to be part of that audience for the town hall meeting with the president, call us, 935-3410. Tell us briefly why you'd like to be part of the audience. Again, the number is 935-3410. A Racine teenager is dead tonight. Police tell us gang members are behind the killing and say his friends tried to cover up his murder. 17-year-old Dwight Lang died of a gunshot wound to the head. One of his friends called police. The 911 call indicated that it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head that happened uh, just prior to the 911 call. That man called 911. But then you said it was a suicide. Uh, that's what I was told. Police tonight, however, are looking for the gunman. A follow-up tonight, 17-year-old Brian Lopez pleaded guilty to charges that he shot into a house and a car, but his arrest was captured on camera by a neighbor and resulted in a misdemeanor charge against a police officer who was videotaped kicking him. Lopez will be back in court next week. Well, police work, especially over the last couple of dozen years, has grown ever more dangerous in Milwaukee, and nobody knows that better than Detective Lieutenant Roosevelt Harrell. For 35 years, he got up every day, and he put his life on the line, determined to keep this city safe. Well, today he retired. Police Chief Philip Ariola said Rosie has probably arrested more homicide suspects than anybody else in the city's history. He's done so much for us, and still his parting thoughts were about our safety. Eventually, the city will recognize that violent crime, if it isn't stopped, none of us will be able to walk the streets here. Not being able to accomplish more in that field, we regret I'm leaving the department. So he retires, and where's he going now? Hawaii to visit his son. Well, think about us when you're on the beach, Rosie. You can bet your beach towel, a lot of folks here are still going to be thinking about you. Thanks. Well, a Manitowoc baking company is thinking that bread is brain food, so they found a Chicago classroom willing to test the theory on some kids. Dwayne Gay gets smart. What does this Chicago public school and this Manitowoc, Wisconsin bakery have in common? Paul and Barbara Stitt. The two own natural ovens and firmly believe good nutrition helps kids learn. They've done lots of research on how certain vitamins in their foods help the brain, 
but they needed real kids to prove it. Look who's here, Uncle Paul. <laughs> so, since the beginning of the year, the kids have been fed all the specially mixed health drink, vegetables, and nutrition-packed and preservative-free snacks, bread, and bagels they want. All courtesy of the couple from Wisconsin, they call Uncle Paul and Aunt Barbara. Lovely. Thank you. Look at that pretty picture. The students are getting a lot of vitamins. From what they eat in the classroom during the day, they get 144% of the nutrients recommended for a day. With a normal school lunch, they would only get 33. For the entire school. For what? For the entire school. For best attendance. Best for the attendance school. for the entire school. Well, that's very good. The results? Best attendance records. Kids saying they no longer have a taste for junk food. Because I don't feel good. I want to just, I just want to go to sleep. Is that right? And how do you feel when you eat good food? I feel peppy and happy. I want to play. And dramatically better schoolwork. Could it really be the bagels? Well, the kids believe it is. I've seen an improvement, uh, but they believe it. So because they believe it, they, they act on their belief. And they believe it so strongly, they wrote a song for the Manitowoc bakers called, It's Great to Be a Baker. Well, thank you for having us. It's just the most heartwarming thing I've ever seen. It just is so marvelous to see these kids doing so well in school and enjoy eating good food. The Manitowoc bakers expect report cards due out in a few weeks to prove good food means good grades. Dwayne Gay, Channel 12 News, Chicago. Well, Paul and Barbara Stitt are now looking for 12 Milwaukee classrooms willing to test their theory. They will supply all the food for free. See there, there is good news on the news. Hmm. Well, uh, however, three antibiotics recalled tonight. You may want a pencil. That story's coming up. Something of a rebound on Wall Street. We'll give you the numbers in just a moment. And an ambulance hijacked in Detroit with the patient still on board. People put their trust in you. They want a quality window at a price they can afford. Pella has a line of windows perfect for every home every pocketbook. That's why I tell people to buy Pella. You can afford the best. Stop by one of the most modern supermarkets around. Your neighborhood Kohl's. Why shop anywhere else? Kohl's has everything we need. You can't beat Kohl's prices. Get great Easter savings on Cook's Low Salt Shank Portion Smoked Ham, specially priced at just 98 cents a pound. Assorted Stokely Gold Label Vegetables are three for just 98 cents a coupon. And all varieties of Coca-Cola beverages are on sale. 12 packs are just $1.98 with coupon. Don't break, don't break.